In this video, I'd like to cover folder browsing to locate your documents within WorldOx. Many of you are familiar with using Windows Explorer or My Computer to navigate through Windows folder structures looking for files prior to having a document management system. But we have something similar to that within WorldOx where you can do cabinet browsing and browse by folder. And the way you get to that is over in your left tree tab, you're going to click on the cabinets. That will display a list of all the cabinets that you have access to in WorldOx. From this point, if I want to folder browse my client files cabinet, I'll expand it, and underneath it, I'll see a number of choices. I have active, archive, legal hold, and offline. And you may not be using all of these at your location. Active is where all your active files are going to be. Archive is if you're doing archiving at the site and the files have already been archived and you want to access the archive environment. Legal hold you may or not be using at your site, may or may not be, but if you are using it and you put files under legal hold, this is where you could view those legal hold files. And then offline is if you were working on documents offline within WorldDocs and now you want to navigate to that area and bring them back online. But I'll just go through the active because they all work the same way. I'm going to expand active and I'll see a list of all my folders. And here's the actual folder names, which are the, the client numbers. And then off to the right, we display the actual descriptive name of the code, so the names of the clients. Once you see a client folder that you want to browse down into, then you would just expand that. And then you'd see all the matter folders. And then if you just double click on one of those matter folders, it'll actually show you the contents within the file list. If I want to expand out and get to another one. So it's very simple. If you're used to using folder browsing through Windows Explorer or My Computer, it's the same concept. We allow you to do it here in WorldDocs. It's just taking you directly to the folder where those documents are stored. So very quick and easy, just wanted to show you how you get to that and how you use it in this video.